So the following video that's coming up is me doing yoga and um, yoga stretches is very important for the health of my hair, right? A any exercise is good for the health of your hair. Right now I am preparing to wash uh, and steam my hair. So, um, but I wanted to just let you all know that exercise, moving that body, walking, um, stretching is key to um, getting those blood juices flowing and which affects the uh, scalp and your hair health. And um, when your hair is soft, even though it's dry, <laughs> right, it's not crunchy dry. It's just, it, it just needs some moisturization, but that happens when you have good health. So, um, so I wanted to just share a few of my, um, my yoga moves with you. I don't know who else, um, uh, do yoga stretches. I'm not into the religion of yoga, but I do a lot of stretching. Uh, these are just some highlights. This is not my full routine. My full routine is about 40 minutes. And, um, and so I do this at least four times a week. And, um, and so, you know, it just does the body good. It does your hair good. And I just want to give you an introduction. So stay tuned so that you can see how to do stretches. Hopefully it will bless someone so that your hair can be healthy. Your scalp can be healthy because healthy scalp produces healthy hair. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. I start by stretching my back and my uh, lower lumbar area. Here I am stretching out my neck and my fingers and toes. This is called the child's play stretch my lower back tends to be very stiff. And um, with me doing my stretches every day, it really helps to control the pain that um, my lower back experiences, especially when I stand up a long time. It's important to wiggle those toes and those ankles to get them loosened up and stretch those hip, open those hip areas up. I've always loved to stretch even as a child. Taking your time is very important because you need that time to warm your body up warm those muscles up. When you stretch, be active in your stretching. Really work with your body to make sure that you're stretching those muscles and not just letting your body flop from one side to the next. Moving that spine, twisting that spine is very good for the health of your spine and rubbing it at the same time. Take your time, no need to rush. As we get older, our bones and our muscles stiffen up. And so these uh, exercises are excellent especially as you age and if you have any kind of arthritis or any type of osteoporosis, um, any type of uh, joint pain, stretching really, really helps to warm the body up and get the blood flowing. Here I am 
stretching my neck by positioning myself on top of my head. It really helps with headaches as well. This is called the cat and dog stretch. So the cat perches up like that and a dog bends down like that. And so you can twist your spine, get on your, your um, feet and stretch those those uh, muscles in the back of your leg. This is my favorite stretch. My head can almost touch the ground. <laughs> Straighten your legs as much as possible. Straighten your back and take your time and stretch. Stretch those, um, those uh, calf muscles and try to keep your feet flat on the ground as you do this stretch. And actively hold your body still as you position your body. This is the child pose again. It really opens up your hip muscles, your hip joints. Some, some poses are repetitive because you want to really stretch that area out and warm those areas. Try to balance yourself as you squat with hands forward and open up those knees so that you can open those hip muscles and hip joints. Again, try to keep your legs as straight as possible. My legs are straight. My back is straight. Then you want to stretch out those shoulder blades and those arms. It feels so good. <laughs> and then just hang there. This exercise actually opens up the lumbar area. It decompresses your spine. and try to squat like that so that you can create balance in your stance. At the end of the exercise, you scoop close up to a wall and put your feet on the wall and just relax. I hope this video served you well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Do you exercise? Write in the comments whether you exercise and what type of exercise.